Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. Before we get into the video, I just want to take a quick moment to thank my members. Their names will be on screen now. I really appreciate you for supporting my channel in whichever way you can, whether that is by joining the membership or by just being a viewer, silent or otherwise. But if you do want to become a member, then you can go down to the description box and you can follow the link there to join the membership. The benefits of the memberships are from the first tier, the shout out supporter, you will get your name on screen. The second tier, you will have the added benefit of a bi-weekly members only live stream. And for the third tier, you will have an additional benefit of uh, members only videos that I upload on the weeks where I'm not live streaming. Again, the details are down below for joining. If you want to join, we have a great community. We have a lot of fun. And yeah, thanks again so much for supporting me. It really does mean the world. But let's get into the video. Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to the channel. My name is Ilona. I'm also known as Shikara Transformations. I'm an online health and fitness coach, and I'm also a bodybuilder. And today we are filming in the afternoon. Actually, evening. It's evening already. I do have myself a cheeky vodka with Diet Coke because I fancied it. That's why. I'm not a big drinker, more so than I used to, but I'm not a huge drinker. Bottle of vodka lasts me a month. I don't think that's that bad. It is indeed Thursday afternoon. The elephant in the room is that my hair is a different hair color. And this is why we're filming now. I was supposed to upload a different reaction. Started editing it, it was pretty crap. And to be honest, my hair lady only left like an hour ago and I didn't want to rush to edit a video. And I started editing it and I was like, you know what, this is just not a good video. So I decided, fuck it, I'm just going to can it. Not upload. Do some bits around the house. Put some makeup on my face. And film another reaction with a glass of vodka. Because why not, right? So the hair, it's, um, it's a work in progress. So as you can tell, my roots in my fringe, they need to be bleached. Um, the whole It was supposed to go like a copper, as you can see up here, where my natural hair color is. So the, that's the plan for it to go copper. However, where um, I have extensions, the extensions have just gone a bit more sort of like uh, sort of like auburny, auburny brown. Um, so uh, on Saturday, she's going to come back to fix the roots as well as to tone the hair so it will become more copper. And I will get it cut a little bit as well because I've got a lot of dead ends. So, but I still like it though. Like uh, I like the... You know, I think when it's all bleached up, it will look a lot cooler. But yeah, I still am very happy to be back to a to a ginger. It's been a while. I was getting very, very bored of being a blonde. Um, I like being a redhead. I've been a redhead many a times. Naturally, I am more redhead. Strawberry blonde. Not quite like this. I'm not quite like that. A little bit lighter than that. But yeah, anyway. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at a TikTok fat acceptance cringe compilation because they're just kind of lighthearted, aren't they? They're easy to kind of go through. It will not be from funty times this time around. Um, today, let's look at cring cringe chungus. I don't know who cringe chungus is. Looking at their channel, it does look like they basically do cringe compilations of fat acceptance. I will be sure to link their channel down below. So if you wanna go and subscribe, give them some support. If you like the fat acceptance cringe TikToks, then yeah, it looks like they're a very, very good channel for that. And uh, yeah, I don't know which one to go with this. There are so many to choose from. So maybe we should go with one that has a lot of views. I mean, I can see one here that has got uh, Marissa Matthews in it. So I, I think we should go with that because we, we know if Marissa is involved, it's going to be good. The light is going to change because the sun is setting. So let me move over. Do you prefer me as a blonde, as a, as a redhead? Or do you prefer me in the old school red? The real OGs will know what I mean. Which, by the way, I'm thinking about going towards that hair color, maybe for my next show, but we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, let's get into this. Hey guys, it's me. Oh man, this is a little kid. I don't know what I'm gonna... I don't know what we're... We might have to skip this one with the kid. And um, I'm back today with another video. Today is going to be... Uh, <laughs> Just... this and this <laughs> Oh, for real, 
know. It's cr- is that is that cringe chungus? It's cr- is is this cr- cringe? Is this cringe chungus? <laughs> Big chungus in the moment. <laughs> and yeah, heart. What's that? Big chungus. <laughs> it it can't be. Is that is that actually is is this kid cringe cringe chungus? It can't be, right? Jungle, the jungle. Uh, the purpose of this video is to encourage productive and constructive thoughts and discussion. I include videos from all sorts of file actors regardless of my own views. Even if you disagree with the creators, please treat them with respect and DC. Don't harass or bully them, or else you're missing the point of my video. Now let's get to the crew. So obviously I have to, anything that's got music in it, I have to put on some copyright um, uh, suitable music. But this is a, uh, this is a big girl, eh? Wilson poses in red swimsuit reminds people it's never too late to improve yourself. First of all, weight loss does not mean you're improving yourself. I know a lot of skinny people who are really terrible. Yes. They're not saying that weight loss will improve you in terms of making you a better person i think they just mean that it improves your health which it does you can obviously still be a bad person and be skinny um and nobody's saying that obese people are bad people but they are unhealthy whether people want to believe that or not that's not really up for discussion that's a scientific fact um so yeah if you're you are, I don't even know what they said, improving improving on themselves. I guess it's like, well, it depends on, it depends on how philosophical you want to get with it. But I didn't read it as that. And I need to see the article as well to see what the actual quote is. Because I'm sure it has to do with just quality of life and things like that. That's what I'm assuming. And now I can add Rebel Wilson to that list. To be clear, I do not care that she lost weight. I care that she is talking about it in this way and the implications of the language she's using. Rebel Wilson built her career off of the stereotypes people hold about those in bigger bodies and always was getting in front of the fat joke and making sure people were laughing with her. Yeah, but if she decided to change, not be morbidly obese anymore or obese anymore because she realized that it wasn't healthy and it was making her unhappy, then what's wrong with that? It's okay to change your mind and change opinions. I think actually that's quite a good thing to do. I I certainly have changed a lot of my views and opinions on many things since I started the channel because I'm so much more open to experiences from people from all walks of life. And obviously I don't have to do that, but I think that's just part of development is that you reflect on your thoughts, your opinions, uh, you learn from other people and you you adapt accordingly. And with some things I'll never change my mind on. Like for example, I will always think that trying to make uh, maps into a sexual orientation is not acceptable. If you like doing things with children, you, sh- you should not really be in this society. And if you are in the jail, you should just go into the general population, in my opinion, if especially if you're an offender. But you know, there's certain things that I think I will always be fairly steadfast in, but there's other things like, for example, with obesity and their people's experiences that I have certainly learned that, yeah, you know, there is elements of discrimination that people go through. Now calling it oppression and basically comparing your struggles to the struggles of people um, with different skin colors or with different religions or with different sexual orientations in certain societies in certain environments, it's not the same thing. I do think that it is harder to navigate life being uh, an obese person, but it is something that you can change as well. And as an adult, we are responsible for our own health and our our physical and mental health. So yeah, you know, you shouldn't expect everybody in the world to adapt to you and your size because you are so big that you can't fit in normal places. That's like, that's, that's a you problem. That's not a me problem. Instead of at her, at the expense of all other fat people. All representation is not good representation, and I didn't like this when she was fat. 
But it is truly appalling for her to imply anyone could have the same results as her if they were to just go for it. Okay, so this is the whole improving thing. She says, improve your health, your heart, your happiness, your harmony. She's not saying anywhere that being obese makes you a better person. Uh, sorry, that skip being skinnier makes you a better person. Or that being obese makes you a bad person. She's just talking about improving health. And that's a factual statement. Please tell me again how having a ton of excess body fat that's obviously going to impact your organs is healthy. Because the difference in this, in these hearts, is quite obvious to me. So do tell me again that obesity doesn't impact your health. Because it does. Just because you can't physically see it or feel it yet, just wait until you get older, doesn't mean it doesn't impact your health. On another photo, she said, I feel like turning 40, I've weathered a lot of storms, but somehow I've managed to thrive. And I'm not saying she didn't work hard, but maybe her international fame, access to personal chefs and trainers, and $22 million help? Like, look, it makes it easier. But to assume that people are not in good shape, to assume that people are only in good shape because they have a financial backing, that's incorrect. Like anybody can be in shape. It just requires willpower and discipline and being willing to suffer to some degree, being willing to be uncomfortable, maybe not suffer, but be willing to be uncomfortable, be willing to be hungry sometimes, be willing to push a workout to a point where, you know, you're maybe going to have some muscle pain and maybe there's going to be a bit more lactic acid build up and maybe you'll even throw up. These things, this is part of it. Um, anything worth having, it's not, it's not easy to get by, but it makes it easier for sure. Of course it makes it easier if you've got um, a, like a lot of money at your disposal, but it doesn't make it impossible. There's plenty of people that are in good shape that are not super wealthy. Acting oppressed, your, the way you are because you can't control your impulses, 100% of your own fault. Some of us prioritize health. We got a knuckle crack in there, so she means business. I got time today. Have you ever considered that some people might just be fat because they're fat? Well, because they want to. Genetics, A, play a huge role. People can naturally be thin. This is true. Some people are more prone to being overweight compared to other people. However, that doesn't mean that you are naturally several hundred pounds overweight. It just means that some people are carrying, some people maybe carry an extra 20 pounds. Some people carry a bit less. Some people have maybe a BMI that's like, I don't know, like 30-ish, whereas some people have a BMI that's maybe like 18-ish. So people are on the higher and the lower ends of the spectrum. Nobody is an infinity fat or a giga fat because of genetics. That is because of food and enormous amounts of excess, 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 excess food. So yes, genetic plays a part. Obviously, if everybody in your family is really unhealthy, then it's more likely than not that you're going to be unhealthy and obese. This is, this is true, but it doesn't mean that, and it all, and also it means that it is, it does make it harder for you to lose weight, but it doesn't make it impossible. It just means you have to work a bit harder. That's all. Therefore, people can naturally be fat, too. Also, this doesn't apply to me, but have you heard of poverty and needing to eat? In developing countries, obviously, most poor people tend to be malnourished, as obviously malnourishment is a bigger problem than obesity, which makes it ironic. But from what I understand, actually, in developed in Western countries, Obesity is prevalent more in poorer areas and it is because of the fact that you can just like go to the shop and buy like, I don't know, like 30 chicken nuggets, frozen ones for like a pound or like a dollar and stuff like that. So it is cheaper in that sense, but still you still need to be eating such a large volume. I reckon the people that are morbidly obese, they have such enormous food bills of just crap food and takeout that they say that healthy eating is expensive and yeah, it can be, but I bet your food bill is still more than mine. And I eat only whole foods, pretty much. Eat cheap foods to stay alive. That sometimes... Sorry, what? But have you heard of poverty? And needing to eat cheap foods to stay alive. But a cheap food doesn't have to be like 
pizza or burgers though. Like you can eat cheap food. Potatoes are cheap. What else is cheap? I don't know, like you can, instead of like, if you can't afford chicken breast, maybe go for skinless chicken thighs. You can opt for lower quality cuts of lean protein. And it doesn't matter, like you can eat animal fats as long as you just count it in for the calories. It just because you have to opt for cheaper foods, that doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be a pizza or a burger or a chicken nugget or a bag of chips or a cheap chocolate bar. That's a choice you're making. That sometimes make you gain weight because that's all you can afford. Have you ever considered medications? I take five medications, all of which have made me gain weight. Maybe if you were healthier and had led a healthier lifestyle and ate healthier, you wouldn't need those medications. Because there's many problems and a lot of mental problems as well. Things, many things like anxieties and depression can be managed better through diet and exercise. Things like, don't even get me started on like heart, blood pressure, um, diabetes, um, blood sugar. Things like that is often related to body weight and diet, dietary choices. So, I also prioritize my health, believe it or not. Fat people can care about their health. Also, I'm not acting oppressed. I am oppressed. Fat people are oppressed. It's not because you can't control your own impulses. Regardless of whether it's from someone's lack of impulse control, they can still be oppressed. But baby, you are downright stupid if you don't think that some people can just be naturally fat. There's such I don't think any, but I think you can naturally carry more body fat, but I don't think you are naturally morbidly obese. I think maybe overweight, some people can be naturally, like as in BMI classifications of overweight, but obese, class two, three, four obese, no. I don't think that happens naturally. You need to, unless you have like a Willy Prada syndrome or something like that. But otherwise, no, it's not. I don't think that happens naturally. Because like obesity is a thing of the last, what, 50 years, if even that. Before that, she would have been like somebody, she would have literally been a freak show. Like a sideshow, she would have been a side, side, sideshow act in a freak show, is that what you call it? Isn't it? I'm, I'm pretty sure that back in those days, when the freak shows were still a thing, I, mean, I know they're still a thing now to some degree, but the olden days, the Victorian times freak shows, these are literally like the average American nowadays, which is pretty crazy. Such thing as a set point weight, and when people grow up and they eat normally and move normally for them, they find a range that's healthy for their body. So next time you want to come on my page and try and spew misinformation, do a little bit of research first. Thank you. Did I go from this? Picture from before my ED, terrible born in it, constantly yo yo dieting, fat phobia. Fat phobia. To this. Neither is good though, is it? So you're telling me that in this picture here, she doesn't have an eating disorder. I think she has an eating disorder in both. Want to know a bit more about why you shouldn't use the word obese and obesity? It's because when I go to the doctor, they see me as that and they don't listen to my concerns. It's. Do you want to come, girl? Come on then. Come on. Come on. Good girl. All right. Daisy's joining us, guys. Me being dehumanized. It's me not being. Seen. It's interesting how the like how a medical term is considered dehumanized. So what if you go to the doctor and they tell you that you have like cancer or that you have diabetes or something else? Do you then consider that dehumanizing as well? As a human, just stop using that language. It's a medical term though. Like how can you stop using it just because it offends you? It's like that's just it's just a medical term. Look, if your doctor goes like you're a bit of a fat fuck, yeah, I'll understand. But if they say like, you know, your obesity is causing you a lot of problems. Fat people can be healthy. Fat people are desirable. Fat... <sighs> Having fat does not make you less attractive. 
Stretch marks are actually dope as fuck. Not every fat person wants to lose weight, so stop telling us to. <sighs> like, technically you can't be healthy because obesity is a medical term, so that kind of defeats the whole point. You can be perhaps at that point in time, but not long term. Fat people are desirable, yeah, I'm sure they are, but some people, fat doesn't make you less attractive. That's an opinion. I personally can look at her and I think she has a, a nice face and I know that's fat phobic of me to say but I think fat bodies are not attractive to me it just like it's I've it indicates to me that somebody has not been willing to take care of themselves they have no discipline likely that they have no discipline they probably have very little willpower and um, they just don't leave lead an active lifestyle and like they're sick you know I just don't find sick people attractive the same as like I don't look at Eugenia Cooney and find her attractive She's a pretty girl, but her body is not attractive to me. Stretch marks are dope as fuck. I mean, I mean that's questionable. Never a fat person wants to lose weight. No, I'm sure that's true too. <laughs> but they probably should just for their health long term. I think that it's kind of the point though. Like it's hidden beneath. It's not the main point, but I, st I know that's not the point, but potatoes are good for you, full stop. Yeah, potatoes aren't bad think it is still a point because people are so brainwashed to think that anything a fat person does is bad including eating something healthy like potatoes are one of the best foods to eat like they're one of the main foods that keep it depends on how you eat them if you eat them in, in a chip or a fry hmm, i don't know about that you satisfy or covered in like cheese and butter and cream hmm, probably not so healthy either i didn't fold the longest Yet people are so brainwashed to think that a fat person eating a potato is not good simply because they're fat. Because they are so brainwashed into thinking that fa anything a fat person does is bad or anything a fat person eats is too much or not good for them. People seem to lack the understanding that fat people still need to eat to be nourished, to do their daily jobs. But eating like only potatoes is not very good for you. You need to eat more balanced than that. You need to incorporate some healthy fats and proteins too. To be satisfied in life. Just because someone is fat doesn't mean that they shouldn't be eating. And just because someone is fat doesn't mean that they shouldn't be eating satisfying foods that they enjoy. Not everything is about health. We all die. We all die. Regardless of what you eat, we all die. But wouldn't you want to die... A bit later in life or with less health complications or as little health complications as possible or at least try and minimize them i don't know that that's just me and a lot of us die of things not related to health or health problems so like so yeah i agree it's not the main point but it is still a point in that fat people are still seen as bad for literally nourishing their bodies and it's not okay, and this double standard needs to change. So thank you. Also, all hail the potato. Thank you, cultato. Hashtag. If you're not part of my cult, let me know and I'll, I'll add you to it. Cultato for the win. I'm fat, but big deal. I don't feel bad about it. You never made me- She seems cool as fuck. I don't know why. I love her voice. I love her voice feel bad about it and just because there are some people in the world who want me to feel bad about it doesn't mean i have to you see i think that's fair like what she just said is fair if you want to be big be, be, be big if you're fucking happy being big then that's absolutely fine the problem is is where you get people like marissa that spew about oppression and all the wrongs in the world because they're big and they pretend that being big is healthy. If you're like, you know what, I like being fat, I like to eat donuts, I like to eat lots of just fried things and sugary things, it makes me fucking happy. I know it's bad for me, but whatever. Cool. No problem. It's like sometimes people ask me to react to Hungry Fat Chick and it's like, there's nothing to react to. First of all, her story is actually kind of sad. She is literally trying to un her life on alive herself with food because of the trauma she's been through so it's like that's messed up and on top of that she's happy being fat she's not trying to diet she's not trying she's not promoting um health at every size she's just literally a hungry fat chick so let her be a hungry fat chick don't you worry about it bitch i know somebody like it it's Tell that to the four guys 
to do the four different guys this week just because you're easy that doesn't necessarily mean that guys like you i mean men, most guys will have sex with pretty much anybody it's not that hard like i can literally go on tinder right now install it and i can guarantee i can probably get laid within an hour not because i'm so fucking amazing because of the fact i have a vagina that i'm making available it is that easy and it's like look there's nothing wrong if you want to like sleep with loads of people do you that's just whatever like at the end of the day do whatever you want to do but just for a woman to assume that let me put it this way just because guys want to fuck you it doesn't make you special unfortunately many guys will fuck many women like most guys just play a numbers game i i don't know why that is but i get guys in my dms every day and i know for a fact what they're sending me they are sending to like loads of other women and like yeah sometimes it's nice especially if it's a good looking guy and just like sending you nice sweet little words of course like don't get me wrong i get flattered but i also know not to take it personal because i know that what they're telling me that they're, they're doing that to lots of other women because like why would they reach out to just me they don't so just because you're willing to sleep with somebody it doesn't mean that they necessarily like you or for anything more than just having sex and if you're okay with that that's fine and maybe they'll learn to know you and get to like you these things happen too but a guy being willing to fuck you and a guy actually liking you these are two very different things hey you can you can think that all you want but the body positive movement and the bopo movement is not about your own personal body image it has nothing to do with how you see yourself or you see your body it has nothing to do with your insecurities the bopo movement is about changing how society views marginalized bodies and dismantling the discrimination and oppression that marginalized bodies face and that my friend has absolutely nothing to do with how you view your body it but the uh, body positive movement was designed for people that were burn victims and amputees and the fat acceptance movement they've just hijacked it and like if you are so happy about how you feel why do you feel the need to change how other people view your body if you're happy like you could argue that i'm in a marginalized body i fucking love my body i work really really hard to look the way that i do I didn't get this shape and this muscularity by accident. It's taking a lot of effort, a lot of early mornings, a lot of blood, sweat and tears to get to here. So I like the way that my body looks. But at the same time, I know it's not conventionally attractive. I know that plenty of men, plenty of women probably don't find it attractive, but that's fine. Like I literally don't care if somebody finds my body too muscular or not and i always find it interesting when you get like the female bodybuilders right and people go like oh don't get like that or don't go too far would i do it no i don't find that aesthetic attractive for myself however when you get the actual female bodybuilders the ones that inject like actual testosterone that go that far to basically like look like men for without you know in terms of uh, lacking better words, lacking better descriptors, they have made such a conscious decision to push their physique to that level, I'm pretty sure they could not give a shit about whether strangers online, on the street, in real life, think that their bodies are attractive or not. Because they've pushed themselves to that physique. You shouldn't have to really be concerned about how other people view you unless you are insecure about it. And like obviously i don't mean like in terms of like religion or skin color or sexuality that's different a lot of the stuff you can't control but when you are physically in control of your physical appearance but when you're in control of your physical appearance you have to just accept that not everybody's gonna like it and if you're fine with how you look then that's not a problem it has to do with how others view it and it has to do with how others mistreat you because of it and that is why then people are not meant for the body positive movement reclaiming movements as a fat woman that's awesome good for her i think it's a really big misconception that people think that if you see um obese people in the gym 
that they get judged. It's like, I would never, I don't think they do. Um, I think people get more judged for like ego lifting and like just lifting with bad form. That happens more often than not. But I don't think people get judged in the gym for trying to improve themselves because you've got to start somewhere. So good for her. The thing is though, is the more you do exercise, what there wasn't any sound over there, but the more you do exercise and the more you get into fit fitness, it's only natural that in with that, your eating habits become healthier as well. And you create healthier habits because it's kind of contradictory to be want to be working out and being active like that, but then to eat like crap and not have other healthier habits. It kind of goes hand in hand that you, when you train, you want to eat healthy and you want to get up early and you want to be more active and do things like that. All right guys, so there's, um, there's the video. I did skim through some of these because there was either nothing to add or they were just a bit boring for me to react to. So if you wanna see the video in full and check out their channel, I will be sure to link it in the description. Go and show them some love. Um, I might do some more reactions to this channel. I might switch it up from just only the funty times. Um, but yeah, I haven't really got a lot more to add. This is just a quick reaction. I wanted to just show off my new hair, you know. Can't wait for it to finish. Like, yeah, this looks nicer up here. This copper looks great, doesn't it? This copper looks really nice. So it'll be nice when it's like that everywhere. And um, I need to sort this, this out as well. I need to try and see if she can cut it maybe a bit differently so it's all even. Anyway, that's a problem for another day. So what emoji shall we do? Let's put a bunny because there's a bunny on screen. So thanks a lot for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, dislike the video if you disliked it. Let me know down below why. And insert a bunny emoji if you've made it this far. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.